I mean, the FDA really with the explosion of AI and where technology is going, I think we're going to have to start rethinking the, the process by which a drug comes to market. Right now, if you were to discover a molecule or something like that, you've got about a 10 year period before that drug can actually make it to market. Now, initially that was very smart put in place. You know, if we isolated something from a tree or a plant or whatever like that, okay, we're pretty sure this is what it does, but we need to do animal testing and then make sure it's, you know, okay in the Petri dish. And then we need to do a little bit in humans and then we get bigger group of humans and a bigger group of humans. And we're like, okay, drug is safe. We can bring it to market. Cool. Let's get that over and done with. But now with AI and what AI is going to be able to do, I mean, it has such power that it can literally look at the proteins and the molecules and things that are interacting in our body, unfold these proteins and be like, oh, hey, yep, yeah, there's this area right here that you can bind and get this molecule that looks like this that I've created for you and bind, it'll go right to there, it'll bind only there, have this downstream effect and here's all the other effects and side effects you can expect and blah, 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 blah. And it's basically going to have the ability to circumvent and shortcut a lot of the, I guess, testing and that sort of thing that we, mm -hmm. we need to do. But as with any kind of government body, they're going to be disgustingly slow and cumbersome. And so it's going to be years before they change when there's a lot of great potential therapies that could be coming to market more quickly with the more advanced safety data and that sort of thing that's been designed with artificial intelligence and that sort. And so if we can kind of remove some of those barriers, we could potentially get some of these medications to market more quickly. And if we have to do less testing and less, you know, putting it all together over a 10 year period, well, that should also bring the cost of the medications down as well, because you don't need to spend as much in R&D and you don't have such a short half-life in terms of your patents as well. 